Okay, and one, two, three, go! Hey guys, welcome back to Care to Life, Care to Life with a Y. Like, subscribe, comment. We really appreciate all the love. I know I haven't seen everybody in a while. We can talk about it later, but today we're gonna be talking about our Remoa bags. So recently we traveled to Dubai yep. and uh, we already have two Remoa luggage carry-ons, mm -hmm. which we absolutely love and I don't see us ever going back to anything else. So we walked by the Remoa store and just accidentally walked in and I saw this tote that I absolutely loved and I was like, okay, well, let me take a look. So I ended up with the tote and it's been, what we at, end of May? Mm -hmm. So I've been carrying it since December. I used it long enough to kind of give you my opinion, what I like and don't like, would I buy it again, and what I really think about the bag. So first of all, I absolutely love the way this bag looks. It's very simple, it, simple, simple. It's just rectangular shape, nothing fancy about, super plain very low key with the minimal branding which i absolutely like i don't like walking down the street where i just draw too much attention especially when you travel through multiple airports with layovers and stuff like that love the way it looks and that's what originally draw my attention to it very durable like i said earlier i've been carrying it since december so we traveled back from dubai with it and then since then, on a daily basis, I've been carrying it to work and using it as my laptop bag and just for whatever other purposes. Still looks great. After all these months of using it, can't complain. I talk about the shape, um, but one thing about the shape, it's very rectangular. It's easier to pack. I used to travel with the book bag, which would be... It's also rectangular, but it's the opposite side, opposite way. So it's deeper rather than wider. So if you pack it up, you have to kind of dig in there. So with the Remoa bag, it's easier for me to reach for things and pack it up, especially when you're on the plane and you just need to grab something. I've mentioned before, Remoa has very distinct uh, look. People who know, they know they have these stripes. I don't even know if the stripes, what's the right way to ribs. call it? Like ribs going along it. So the bag matches the suitcase, which, you know, we like aesthetically pleasing things. So it looks really good when you have matching mm. luggage. It has detachable zip pocket. So it has a two snaps that you can place the pocket inside the actual bag and keep it in place. One thing I have to say, they don't the snaps don't stay very good if you constantly in and out, but I typically don't even keep it attached. I have my wallet in there and my phone. So if I in office and I just want to run downstairs to the coffee shop and I need my phone, I just grab that pouch and I just walk with it and that's it. So I actually use it a lot. I love it. That was a nice addition to the bag. Uh, it has double handle system. So it's pretty much one loop. But the way the handle is designed, you flip it inside and out. So you have a shorter handles when you can carry it just by your hand or place it kind of like on your forearm. Or you have a longer handles where you can place it on your shoulder, which makes it easier to carry if you just walk in with it and have nothing else to sit it on. Um, cleaning. I haven't experienced any issues. All I did is brush it off a couple of times and I'm not really even brushing it off with a just plain brush that often. Haven't experienced any stains with it so I don't know how that would clean but I think they're supposed to have some kind of coating already on it. Because mm -hmm. I think it's somewhat treated by Remoa originally because yeah. they also tell you if you're going to clean it, don't use anything harsh, use something really light, don't spray it with any extra protection, otherwise it cancels your warranty. So it came with a little address tag or luggage tag, whatever you want to call it. And when I, we were in Dubai, they actually offered to engrave it with my initials and it was a free service. So that was really nice. So I have my initials on my bag. Comes with two year warranty. And then I have, so those are all the things I absolutely love. And I have two things that I want to say, I think they should have done better. Well, actually three, I just thought about one more. So first one, I think it's a bit heavy. 
For traveling bag, I think it could have been a little bit lighter. Maybe it wouldn't be as durable, I'm not sure, but it would be nice to have it a little bit lighter because the handles are pretty narrow. So if you carry it on your shoulder, you really feel the weight after a little while. Um, the second con I have is, I wish it would have a little metal or maybe plastic even feet on the bottom. It has like these leather feet on the bottom. So if you set it somewhere, you have to be mindful because it doesn't sit on anything, you know, like hard, like the plastic or metal feet. And the third con, I would say, it kind of comes with the design of the bag. The top of the bag is pretty open. It has a little, not a snap, but a little like, I guess a snap, it's sort of way, to hold two sides of the bag together. Me growing up in the city, I like to hide everything, zip everything, lock everything. So when you travel, your bag can be really exposed and all the things that are in it. So anybody can easily just, you know, put their hand in there. But my system personally was when I travel, I always have some kind of either a jacket or a scarf or something to take on the plane because I'm always cold. So what I do is pack it up and I just put the jacket over and tuck it in so nobody can just push their hand in easily without me noticing. So that's like just the third con that I have. Other than that, I've been extremely satisfied with the bag. My bag cost $1,330. Being us buying it in Dubai, I actually got lucky because I got my tax refunded. So I didn't have to worry about that extra money that I had to pay, which was a nice addition. And um, I absolutely love it. I carry it on a daily basis. I have a couple other bags that I used to carry to work, but I don't even touch them anymore because I just can't seem to go back to them. And I always get compliments. People don't know, majority of people don't know what Remoa is mm -hmm. unless they're really familiar with the brand. So they don't understand how much money this bag costs and all the other things that come with it. They just know it's simple and clean and it looks great. So love mine, absolutely. Mine, after Kat got hers, I liked it so much. Well, I liked this bag that I got as well. And I figure I might as well show it to you. It's this right here. This is the Ramoa Never Steel, is it 35? It just says lar flap backpack large. But I think it's 35 liters, I want to say, if we can go to the remote I'll website, which we can do real quick. Have a look. 19 and a half liters. Okay, so it's 19 and a half liters. No way it's 35 liters because my uh, <laughs> big, what you call it, my Arc'teryx is 35 liters. But anyway, this is a 19.5 liter, almost 20 liters. It has storage on the sides with, with these really, really robust zippers that actually work really, really good. Um, one of the best features that I love about this thing is the little trolley loop right here so if you need to put this on top of your uh actual um uh, roll around it goes right on top of the handle and then it can sit on top of your bag and once again like sister cat said i don't know why it took off like that it matches when it sits on top of your bag which is a huge huge plus uh plus plus then it has these really comfy straps now these straps i don't like how this little area right here bends like that but when you're wearing it you don't really notice it when you have lots of weight in this backpack it actually is still very, very comfortable, even though it doesn't have much of a, like, you know, like a lumbar curve or any, mm -hmm. like, back support. It's still padded enough that when you have a laptop and your clothes and everything in it, it still feels really, really good. These little side pots, going back to these again with these zippers, they have a very, very strong, durable zipper. As you can see, I actually have a tripod in here right now. I didn't even realize it was in there. I need to take that out. But, um... So you can see that there's plenty of volume to put real contents in here. They're not just for show. Um, the top of this bag. So if you look at the top of the bag, and I'll put it this way. The one gripe that I have with this bag when I saw it in store and since I have owned it, owned it has always been this fastening symbol. Sim this fastening system right here. Now, the plastic is still on it. And you might say, why is the plastic still on it? Well, this is actually the second one of this bag. I had two of these so far. The first one that I had, the fastening system, scratched this buckle up so bad, I went to the remote store in Miami and I was like, hey guys, this thing's getting scratched up. It shouldn't be doing this at this price point. And instead of them just replacing this buckle, they sent me a whole new bag. So this bag right here is pretty new. And the first one I had for a couple of months, mm -hmm. can't remember out exactly how many months, but a good amount of time. But this has been the only thing that I've really had an issue with is this fastening system. Now, once you get this thing open, it has a little drawstring in here that allows you to get into the bowels of this bag. 
and gives you plenty of space to get in and out. It has another zippering pouch. It's not removable like on the uh, Never Steel Tote, but it is in there and it works pretty good when you have things in there. When it's empty, it's kind of fiddly to close it properly. And then it has a laptop sleeve that I put my computer in. And this bag is something that is very, very simple and is everything that I need and nothing that I don't. And it works really, really well for my uh, daily needs. Now, caveat, I used to wear this bag to work on a daily basis, but I felt like it got too much attention. And one of the reasons why I liked this bag was because I thought it was kind of more low key and people wouldn't really recognize it and they would just see it and not really say anything. But everywhere I went in this bag, I got compliments on this bag and people were like, oh, wow, that's a really nice bag. Even though they have no clue about the brand, they don't know anything about it, but it did draw way more attention than I liked. So I kind of stopped wearing it at work for that one reason. But the second reason was like Sister Cat had with her bag, the bottom of my first one actually got scratched when I sat it down in my office, this little uh, calfskin leather under here. And I was like, oh no, I don't want that to happen. So as you can see under so here. So interesting, I have, that's what I said, I had leather feet, which yeah. I still don't like. Rizzo's doesn't have anything Any at feet. all. So I wish there was some type of metal or something to protect the bottom of this bag. But outside of that, because you know, when you sit it, you sit it like this all the time with all your stuff in it. And yeah, you just don't want it a bag this nice to get scratched up. But outside of that, super easy to clean. I've worn it in the rain. Well, not this one specifically, but my first one. Wore it in the rain, traveling everywhere. Like this has been my like go-to bag. And this thing really, really is like worth the money. And speaking of money, now I did a little bit of a comparison. Had I gone to Louis Vuitton or Saint Laurent or fill in the blank designer and tried to get a comparable bag, I would have probably spent two to three times more mm -hmm. and then had a bag that had all kind of branding on top of it. We just looked at one yesterday Gucci. and it was Gucci and it was $3,500 with yep. branding all over it. So you can't really be low key. Yes, this draws mm -hmm. attention. So is my tote. Yeah. But at least people don't know what exactly yes. that is. Yes, because I was trying to look for, I was either looking for the Louis Vuitton Christopher bag, it was one that I was looking at, and you know that bag can range from $5,000 to $80,000, or I was going to go with the Gucci bag, I can't remember what they call it, but it's the same design as this in the Christopher bag. And this was the more economical version. I feel like it's the most realistic daily use version. It's best when you're going through the airport because you can put it on top of your trolley bag. And it's the most low key, even though people do still recognize that it's a designer bag and it's probably of really good quality. Uh, you won't get as much harassment as if you're wearing a Louis Vuitton or a Gucci, in my opinion. Yeah, so interesting fact is that we're looking at the sizes. So our sizes of the two bags exactly the same is 19 and a half liters. Wow. But your book bag is actually heavier so your book bag is 1.6 kilos where mine is 1.4 oh. mm -hmm. well there you go something else to consider so we love these bags we have traveled with them we've had them for several months now and we do definitely recommend them if you're in this price point of luggage we are KRT live KRT live for the wide like subscribe like subscribe comment and all that and is there anything else you want to add no that's it thanks you guys for watching as always yep and remote service is really good yes Peace. Mm -hmm.